Okay, so this is um, a video for my instructable for building a pneumatic projectile launcher, also known as a people. Um, so, here we go. This is the barrel, and it's like really straightforward, just a piece of one and a half inch uh, ABS pipe uh, with a, a uh, adapter on the end so that uh, you can put it into the ball valve. Um, now this is the air chamber, and it's fairly simple too, really. Um, this one you're going to put the most amount of work into, though. Um, so it's got, a, on the end, a Schrader valve, uh, which is just one that, like, you would find on a, um, a, uh, bike tire or on a car, um, with the little cap on the end. You screw it off, fill it up. Um, and then it's got a clean-out valve, um, so that if you get something in the chamber, you can just open that up and clean it all out. Um, on this end, it's got a reducer from the 3-inch ABS pipe, which this is, to 1.5-inch. Uh, and, and, and then it's got another one of those adapters so that you can screw it into the ball valve, which is this. Um, now, this ball valve, though, this is probably where you're going to be spending the most amount of money on this. Um, they're pretty expensive, about $20 or so, uh, depending on the size that you get. And uh, also the three inch ABS pipe is pretty expensive too. All the other stuff is fairly cheap though. Um, yeah, so that's the air chamber. Um, if you want to start using it, you just have to put that on that end and tighten it up. And you don't want to put it too tight on. Um, just, but you want it to be fairly tight so that it doesn't fly off. Um, but, like, don't get out of a pipe wrench or anything. Um, just hand tighten it. So, yeah, so this is pretty much it. And you're close to being ready to fire. You just need to fill it up with air, and uh, you'll be good. So, if you want to learn how to make this, uh, go over onto instructables.com and uh, search for uh, PPL the uh, acronym for Pneumatic Projectile Launcher, and um, this should be one of the first results, and uh, it's fairly simple and really fun, so, now, you have to be really safe with it, though, because this thing can kill people, and uh, it can do a lot of damage to not only people, but also property, um, so really use your head, like, don't just go around firing it wherever, um, make sure that you're in a really open space, like into a field or something like that. Um, so yeah, have fun and uh, be safe with it because it's really dangerous.